Yo, let's learn about clutch calibration. Let's start with the basics. The clutch system is the only way power gets from your motor to your wheels. If your clutch isn't calibrated properly, you're not getting the most out of your machine. And if you got a tune for more horsepower, you're leaving power on the table. Proper clutch calibration ensures that you're putting the maximum amount of power to the wheels. The more efficient clutching, the less power will be lost in the clutch system. Clutch calibration is the process of dialing in your clutches to work in harmony with your UTV setup. Things like your engine horsepower, tire size, riding altitude, and the terrain you ride on. The clutch system has three components. Primary clutch controls how the power is delivered from the engine to the belt. Secondary clutch grips the belt and transfers the power to the wheels. Drive belt transfers the power from the primary clutch to the secondary clutch. These three components ensure that your UTV operates in the correct RPM range, also known as the power band, where the engine produces the most power. Calibration involves adjusting weights, springs, and helix to ensure your clutches are working together to maintain that power. Calibration ensures your clutch system is optimized for your specific setup. Whether you're riding a stock UTV, a heavily tuned machine, or one with oversized tires, Proper calibration delivers several benefits. Improved power transfer, meaning more power makes it to the wheels, which gives you more top speed. Smoother throttle response, your machine feels more responsive and predictable. Fewer belt issues, a calibrated clutch reduces belt slippage, overheating, and wear, saving you money on repairs. Without proper calibration, you risk losing performance, overheating your system, or even causing damage to the clutch components. The performance of your UTV is tied to your RPMs. The goal of calibration is to keep your RPMs in the target range where your engine produces peak power. If your RPMs are too high or too low, your clutching isn't operating efficiently. Here's how it works. At low speeds, the clutch must engage smoothly and grip the belt firmly to provide immediate power. At high speeds, the clutch maintains constant RPMs to prevent over-revving or bogging down. The clutch weights play a critical role in RPM control. By adding or removing weight, you could adjust how your clutch engages and maintains RPMs. Weights from the factory are not usually adjustable. Aftermarket weights are typically adjustable. To test your setup, you need a wide open safe area like a long stretch of trail, sand, or road where you could go full throttle safely. Start around 10 miles per hour, then press the gas pedal to the floor and keep it there. Watch your RPMs. They should climb quickly and then level off and hold steady right at your target RPM plus or minus about 100 RPM. All clutch testing and tuning should be done at 100% throttle between 20 and 80 miles per hour. That's where you'll get the most accurate read on your calibration. Here's how adjustments impact your performance. Adding weight to the clutch arms lowers RPMs. Removing weights from the clutch arms raises RPMs. Weight placement also matters. Aftermarket adjustable weights typically have several locations where you can adjust them. Different locations affect RPMs in different ways. Weight in the tip affects high-speed performance and top-end RPM. Adding weight here lowers high-speed RPMs. Weight in the heel impacts low-speed and mid-speed performance. Adding weight here slows initial engagement but stabilizes takeoff RPMs. For example, if your RPM spikes to 8400 and then drops to 7600 with a target of 8000, this means the tips are too heavy and the heels are too light. You need to shift weight from the tip to the heels for more stable performance. If your RPMs start at 7200 and slowly climb to 8400, the heels are too heavy and the tips are too light. You need to reduce weight in the heels and add it to the tips to stabilize your high speed RPMs. The object is to have relatively stable RPMs at or very close to your target RPM. The target RPM is determined by your clutch kit manufacturer or your engine tuner. The secondary spring is another critical component to your clutch system. The secondary spring could be a standard compression spring only, or a compression spring with torsion, and they'll have tangs on both sides. If it's a compression torsion spring, meaning it's compressed and twisted, the amount of twist impacts two areas. Backshifting performance, which is how quickly the clutch responds when you decelerate or encounter terrain changes. High speed RPMs where twist affects how the clutch maintains RPMs at top speeds. What do twist adjustments affect? More twist increases RPM and improves backshifting response. Less twist lowers RPMs and makes backshifting slower. It's important to stay within the recommended twist range. No less than 20 degrees of twist, no more than 120 degrees of twist. At KWI, we typically recommend setting the spring in hole number two on the Groovix Helix, which applies about 30 degrees of twist. 
This is a balanced setup for most riders and terrains. You can move to hole three for more aggressive performance, but going beyond this range is not advised as it could damage the spring. Your riding environment also impacts calibration. Adjustments should account for conditions like altitude, tire size, and terrain. All these equations for these adjustments are detailed in the calibration charts, but here's an overview. High altitude. At higher altitudes, there's less available air and less available horsepower. Subtract 15% from your calibration horsepower to account for reduced air density. Sand dunes or oversized tires. Subtract 8% to compensate for the added resistance. Smaller tires, add 8% to reflect the reduced load on the clutch system. These adjustments ensure your clutch operates efficiently, no matter where you ride. Even with proper adjustments, you might encounter performance issues. Here's how to troubleshoot common problems. RPMs fluctuate or drop below target. This often means that weight or weight distribution is off. Remove weight or move weight towards the heel for more stability. Belt slip or overheating. Check the secondary spring and helix for conditions and proper alignment. Inspect the belt for wear or improper seating. Poor takeoff performance? Don't adjust the secondary spring. Make all the adjustments in the primary. Add or remove weight as necessary. And remember, many adjustments can be made with the clutch still on the vehicle if you have the proper tools. Getting your clutch dialed in means more power, smoother throttle, and fewer belt issues. Head to KWI Clutching for charts, guides, and support. Get it set up right and go fast.